this dining emporium that you are a woodpecker who enjoys packing away the groceries. <laughs> am I right or am I right? The answer is D. I am always right. Yeah. Oh, and because you are a culinarian of the highest order, I am about to introduce to you a revolutionary new device. It will give you free chow for life. May I present, tum ta ta tum the fabulous food box by Scamco. <gasps> it's a shipping crate. Oh, it may look like an ordinary shipping crate, but can an ordinary crate turn any object into delicious food? Okay, prove it. No problem. Yeah! yeah! How's about a fresh glass of water made from, say, uh, this old nail? One fresh glass of water, old fabulous food box. Oh, a glass of water coming up. <laughs> huh. There's probably water in that pipe. Ah, 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 ah. No sneak previewing. Wow! Ooh. Oh, well, I'll check on your water. Yeah, quick, Twiggy. Make like a cork and plug that leak. How many boxes you want, sport? Not so fast. Let me see you turn this hubcap into a large pizza. Oh, you boy, you're boy, you don't. One super deluxe pizza pie on the double, oh fabulous food box. Pizza's ready! So, you're gonna buy the box now, Woodpecker? Sure, sure. <laughs> After dessert. Hey, make me an ice cream cone from, uh, this rock. Wow! One ice cream cone, oh fabulous food box. We're recalling the rocky road, but you can have this rock. Look, you crazy woodpecker. You only get inside the box after you pay. Wow! Rocky Road, my favorite. I love this box. <laughs> and I love your dough. My very own fabulous food box. I'll never be hungry again. Cheese sandwich, please. Extra greasy. Hmm, must be ready. That's the worst grilled cheese sandwich I ever had. Hey, what's the big idea? So that's it. They were scamming me with food from the buffet. The second seating is about to begin. Hey, Bob, we gotta talk. Hmm? Whoa! Hey, boss, isn't that the sucker we just suck it a lot? But that's impossible! I, uh, think we might have sold you a defecative food box there, sport. 
Oh, yeah. We might need to recall this model for ourselves and such. He I mean for, uh, retooling purposes, that is. Whoa. Let me take a quick look-see inside. Whoa. Take this box in for some serious service and sport. It's gonna cost ya. Who, oh, uh, here's your 50 bucks back. You want me to give up free food for life for a lousy 50? No way! Fine, fine, take everything I got. Just give me the box. <laughs> oh. Just thinking about all that food's making me stronger, boss. It seems lighter already. We just made the find of a lifetime. Woohoo! Ten, fifteen, twenty. That should cover the food they stole from you. And here's an extra five for my ticket to the buffet. No, 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 no. This one is on the house, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll take a trip somewhere. How's about taking a trip some when? Some when? That's right, chum. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Buzz Buzzard, scientist, PhD, MD, I O U. And this here is my esteemed colleague, Professor Tweaky the Lucky, E I E I O. We would like to offer you a trip no travel agency can provide. A trip back in time. Yeah, we'll take you anywhere in time for, say, a hundred bucks? Nightly times. Prehistorical times. Space times. Cowboy times. Slap some chaps on me and call me Pappy. We're going to the Old West. Partner. What do I get to do once I'm there, partner? Where? Uh, uh, do? Why, uh, One-Eyed Jack, baddest Don Braid there ever was, is gonna rob a bank. And you get to try and capture him for the reward. What are we waiting for? We are now traveling through time. Quick. Give me one western town, Tweaky. That's the Titanic sinking! Ooh, we're back in the Ice Age now. Watch out for the mastodons! Whoa! Look out for the stock market crash! to the Wild Wet. I mean, West. Towel fee, 20 bucks. A towel's not included? I'm afraid everything is a la cash. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to capture... Huh? Well, I'll be hogtied. I'm gonna capture a bad guy, all right. It won't be one-eyed Jack. But first, I'll make those two vermits wish they'd never met Sheriff Woody. Hey there, sod busters. You got any idea where a dude can get a fast horse in this town? One fast horse coming right up, Sheriff. Oh, hey, why do I gotta be the horse? Just get out there, and when he gets on you like this... <laughs> oh, there's discomfort. You start bucking. The faster you dump him, the faster he'll want something else we can stick him for. <laughs> One horse, 50 bucks.
<laughs> what do y'all say we forget the hoss, boss? I got me a hankering for some honky tonk music. Sure, pal. Honky tonk tunes is what the old west is practically known for. So you distract him with your charm and disgrace. Then I'll shove him into the player piano, grab his wallet, and we'll get out of this cowboy con. There's just one problem. What's that? Well, this bonnet clashes with these shoes. Get out there. You must be the new sheriff. Play me something fast and lively. to capture that boy and take his wallet once and for all time. I'm way too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> See that big X? That's where I buried the dynamite. <laughs> And when the woodpecker gets there, I let him have it a lot. Oh, I got it, boss. Hey, woodpecker, this here town ain't big enough for the both of us. I thought exactly, one-eyed Jack. You ain't exactly the shiniest lure in the tackle box, are you, Woodpecker? Now, Tweaky! <laughs> nice job, Woodpecker. We've been after these two for a long time. I guess it's true what they say, officer. Time doesn't pay. <laughs> Breakfast lover, I'm here to tell you about Colonel Pop's Sweet Corn Chunk Sweepstakes. Here's your game piece, and good luck. Oh, boy. I won! <laughs> Woody Woodpecker, you've just won your very own farm. Imagine it. Here, swamp, mud pies. Say, Bob, I want a sweepstakes and I'm taking over the Colonel Pop's corn farm. Do you know where it is? You city folk are funny. <laughs> Seems you got all turned around. Colonel Pop's corn farm is, uh... uh -huh. Why, the farm is, uh... Right here. You've arrived. <laughs> uh, excuse me, just a country sec. Farm caretaker, <laughs> Gabby Gator. Whoa. Here, 
is your farm, son. This is a swamp. Right, uh, swamp farm. <laughs> Look, Bob, I won myself a farm with all the trimmings. So, where's my tire swing? Uh, isn't that it over there? Me, my mistake, it's over here. Woohoo! And where's my corn? <laughs> where's my corn? Oh, you city folk, this isn't swamp corn season. Well, then where's the corn grub, Bob? Oh, yes! Come right up. Now you just enjoy yourself, son. <laughs> Coming right up. I'll teach this gear never to mess with a woodpecker again, much less try to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> Swing, Gabby. I want corn fritters, Gabby. Let me drive a tractor, Gator. Oh, I tell you, it's no good when dinner bosses you around. farm up the way. <laughs> Excuse the fashion show here. I I've been waiting for the Colonel Pops contest winner to arrive, but some dumb gator's been causing me a whole heap of trouble. Y you haven't seen him, have you? Hey, I'm the contest winner. <laughs> and there's your dumb gator. <laughs> Come here, you corn-napping varmint! <laughs> Show. <laughs> 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 Today's the day I get my latest 
installment from the Golden Gizmo Club. I wonder what it's gonna be. Hmm. Oil boy. An oil dowser? Just point and follow. Your oil dowsing gizmo will find oil anywhere. I'm gonna be red. You crazy woodpecker! Now take your silly stick and... Hey! Ah! Sneaky woodpecker deal is this. Nothing sneaky. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You help me get that dowser, and we'll split everything 50 50. Hmm. Okay. It's a deal. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Come here, my little dowsing stick. Look what Uncle Wally's got for you. Don't worry, Wally. You'll be packed and ready to go in no time. See ya. <laughs> what kind of partner cans his other partner? Mr. Greedy Pants. What's mine is yours. And yours is mine. <laughs> Wally! Look! Wally! There's oil down there! Oh, ho, 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 ho. There must be oil on my property. 
Ten feet by, mm, 20 yards. By Yingo, this satellite proves it. The oil is definitely on my property. I'll dig on my side, and you can dig on yours. Oh, haven't I just had enough of your shenanigans? <laughs> he hit something, yeah? Yeah. Stand back. I'm going to rich, buy rich, a rich. pony. But... Ah! Arrest them both! What did we do? Oh, not much. You just busted into my company's oil pipeline, blew out about a truckload of oil, creating an environmental hazard. Is that enough? This is all your fault, Woodpecker. My then fault? I get Don't my give me that. <laughs> Package for three seven two five five seven six. Oh boy, it's from the Golden Gizmo Club, Wally. How to turn rocks into gold? Oh no, you don't. Haven't you learned your lesson? Hey, quit it, quit it. I'll share with you, Wally. <laughs> Sports fans, the fate of the upcoming hockey season rests in the hands of one world-famous super scout. Slapshots Medley, who has never failed to discover the newest hockey sensation, headed off to frigid Antarctica today in search of new talent that fans hope will rejuvenate the troubled sport. World famous hockey scout, Slapshot Smedley, and I just love discovering new hockey players. Yep, you get me a boy with raw talent, and I'll train him to be tomorrow's hockey superstar today. Well, I'll be. Here I come all the way to the frigid Antarctic to find a hot new prospect, and he goes and finds me. You're some skater, boy, but you gotta learn how to use a door. I've never seen a hot prospect yet who can resist Slapshot Smedley's special signing bonus. <laughs> So fast, small fry. You're the property of the International World Hockey League and ice show now. So listen up. My reputation's on the line. And before I auction your hockey services off to the highest bidder, I want to make sure we smooth off all your rough edges, if you catch my drift. He may be fast, but he ain't the sharpest blade on the ice. First thing you need to do is test your speed and maneuverability. Let's see how fast you can skate around all those little old hockey sticks. Young hot shots come and go, but the stopwatch never lies. Now what is he? On the other hand, speed can be a tad overrated. You new prospects are all alike. You want the fame and the big money and the trading card with your picture on it, but you don't want to work for it. Well, Slapshot Smedley knows how to deal with the likes of you. Now this here drill is to test your face-off skills. Super Scout Slapshot Smedley is about to learn you one big time hockey move. That 
That's how the seasoned pros do it. Go on, son. Don't be intimidated just because you saw the best in the business do it first. Give it your best shot. You gotta build the new one's confidence a smidge at first. Now I know why they called a face-off. This boy sure better bring in the crowds, cause something tells me he's gonna cost us a fortune in sticks. Okay, little fella, time to find out about your goaltending skills with a little help from the latest technology in hockey scouting. You're supposed to bat him out of the way. Oh, let me show you. Fire that puck chucker up, boy. It's all in the rest action. Oh, sure. I had to find the only hockey player in the world who's more interested in sticks than money. Son, something tells me you're gonna be a natural for a barbecue endorsement. But you gotta play some hockey first. I know just how to tame this pesky little prima donna. Say there, boy, how's about we work on your body checking skills? I'm gonna check this boy so hard his whole family's gonna feel it. That'll get his mind in this game for certain. season sure could use a new player if the sport is to be saved. Let's just hope that Slapshot Smedley can come up with one. That does it. I've had it with you, you no-talent, unathletic supporter, you. I'm through with today's prima donna athletes. I'm going back to scouting girls' high school volleyball. Stay away from me forever, Penguin. Oh, too bad. For the first time in his legendary career, Slapshot Smedley has failed to discover a new hockey sensation. And so, I'm afraid, this entire season is being canceled due to lack of interest, folks. But in its place, we bring you the world's best-loved campfire songs. Chase had more twists than a mutated pretzel. Oh, being a detective would be so exciting. Now you're taking a fall, little lady. The clues tell me the real killer is someone with huge ears. <laughs> a long nose. And he's prone to drooling. Aha! Uh -huh. The perp was under my nose the whole time. You're taking the fall. A bell went off, and I knew there was no way this pooch was the pilferer. Because for a canine, he's actually about a K2. I opened the door to a guy who looked like he'd just been hit by a truck full of handsome. Pardon me, ma'am. Do you want a vacuum cleaner? He was no slouch in the sweet talk department, either. A vacuum? Uh, sure, I have one, but it's in the shop. Sorry to bother you, then. Say, are you part of the Neighborhood Patrol Program? Uh, yeah. Some nut job's been stealing vacuum cleaners in the area. Oh! I could help get the word out. Uh, leave it to the professionals, ma'am. I was in the mood to return videos without rewinding them. Drink milk right out of the carton a day after the expiration date. Oh. It took some convincing. But Chandler saw the light. Mm -hmm. 
Winnie P.I. was on the job. First thing I did was plaster the town with flyers. <laughs> Deputy Dizzy, go to the other side of town. I'll whistle if I need backup. Now, to find out how this vacuum cleaner crook's mind worked. This crazy woodpecker was nosing into my business. She made me want to scream louder than a yodeler in tight underwear. I told Chandler the best P.I.s always nose around the scene of the crime. We're here to ask you about your stolen vacuum cleaner, ma'am. Where were you on the night of... <clears throat> I'll handle this, Red. Get a clue. Ten four, Chandler. I'm on it like gum on a sidewalk. Don't mind the mess. I'm dusting for clues. <laughs> I figured I'd dust for prints. It's a dirty job, mostly because of the dirt. Hear me that. Go secure the crime scene. My partner was feeling the pressure. We needed a break worse than an out-of-work orthopedic surgeon. Suddenly, I had what might be a clue. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a footprint. By the looks of things, the crook was either an enormous centipede with hundreds of feet, or a man who walked with two shoes on. I decided to trace his every move. What we had here was a sweet toothed vacuum cleaner thief with size 8 W's. Huh? Hmm, when in doubt, improvise. Let's have a look at the closet where you kept the missing vacuum. What day is today? Uh, three. Where do you live? Ten Amp Street. Give me that. So, with my partner out on the mend, I was left alone for a stakeout. I found the perfect bait. The TurboVac 200 on a lure out beef. I wasn't at your house for any neighborhood patrol. I was casing your joint red to steal your vacuum. But the neighborhood patrol posters. I was taking them down. But you got some cockamamie idea I was the law. <gasps> Who are you? I own a cleaning service. Business was so bad, I figured... If you steal all the vacuums in town, business will skyrocket. But then you had to stick your nosy beak into things. I want you to know, mister, whatever you're thinking, you can just forget, because you're taking the fall. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this Chandler character was slicker than the shine on a freshly licked lollipop. But we stuck to the case like glue and got our man. The streets were safe once more for vacuum cleaners everywhere. 
Winnie P.I. and Deputy Dizzy were on the job. Conserved? Yes, and tired. Is this trip really necessary? Sure it's necessary. I'm a necessary evil. You got a book? You know, one of them A, B, or C books. Oh, an A, B, C book. Here you are. A is for apple, as used in a pie. B is for butter, but it's hard to buy. C is for cuff, which you can put this gas on, bud. Oh, a wise guy, huh? On your way, Chisler. How am I going to get over that hill without gas? That's easy. Like this.
A present. Hmm. Candy and flowers. That's what you always give me on my birthday. Can't you ever think of something different? Like, um, well, like a fur coat. A fur coat? But why not? Every girl wants a fur coat. But, 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 but I can't afford a fur coat. Well, then you can't afford to have a girl either. So, yeah. the intrusion, son. Couldn't help overhearing what the little lady just said. Wants a fur coat, does she? And you say you can't afford a fur coat. Fox fur, that is. Presume that's the kind you want. Why not, says my friend? All you have to do is catch a fox. And how do you catch a fox? Why, with a foxhound, of course. And where do you get a foxhound? I'm glad you asked me that question. Why, right here, my friend. And since this is my last hound, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you have this hound, not for one, not for two, not for three, not for four, but for five dollars. That's exactly right, my boy, five dollars. Many, many thanks and good fox hunting to you, son. Not met before in Paris, no. Or was it in the Riviera? Yes. Never before have I seen such beauty. You are so round, so firm, so fully packed. Come, my shawty, and we will fly to the Casbah. Yeah, yeah. 
I'll be handy. Let me try it on. Fabricated house. All you have to do is put it together. And now our photographer will take a picture of the lucky family. Where'd Pa go to? Hey, Pa! I'm coming, Ma. Come on, Pa. We're gonna have a picture token. Blink, Zeke. Okay, Milford, that's about a hundred feet. Stop fooling around, Pa, and get to work. What you doing down there in the basement? for the winter? <laughs> you, you sure look good on television, Ma. The picture's fine, but I can't get the sound. I'm proud of you, Ma. One of these days, Pa, you're gonna get it. Oh, right in the kisser. That's mighty pretty shade of green, Hank. Hey, Ma, we 
got a bad apple. Pa, get down out of that tree and get to work. Have to oil that gate one of these days. Well, she's all finished, Ma. Let's go on in. What are you doing up on the roof, Ma? 